everybody, I'm Mark, and today on Make Your Mark, we are making beaded rope jewelry, which is a wonderful way to use seed beads. Now, I'm kind of excited to start this project because I just got a new Honeywell desk lamp from my work table, and it's definitely going to help me work much more efficiently. I've noticed that over the years, to see clearly, I need really good light. And this lamp is perfect for working with tiny components. The best part about this lamp is that it's eye-friendly. It emits soft, flicker-free, and anti-glare light, which minimizes blue light hazards and eye strain. So it's perfect for artists like me or anyone who needs good lighting. Are you ready? Let's make some beaded rope jewelry. Before I start on this beading project, I want to unbox my new Honeywell desk lamp. I love this lamp. It has made working with small components on my work table so much easier. I work a lot with very small components and as my eyes have changed over the years I need more and more light to see. And this lamp is perfect for my beading projects because it has a long reach, it's easily maneuverable and the LED light does not get hot. I love how easy it is to adjust the brightness too. Simply long press the buttons for continuous dimming from 10% to 100%. And when you turn it off, it automatically returns to the previous setting when you turn it on again. Because the head of the lamp is small, it doesn't get in the way of what I'm looking at and it can easily be angled so that it's out of my way when I'm working. The base of this lamp is weighty so I can extend the arm without worrying about tipping it over. Beads are sized by how many of them fit side by side within one inch. So the lower the number, the bigger the bead. Between the 8th and 11th centuries, Vikings operated sophisticated glass making operations in Scandinavia and produced glass beads including millefiori. Then in the Middle Ages, glass seed beads were first mass produced in Italy and initially manufactured in Venice beginning about 1290. Italy pioneered the process of seed bead manufacturing with much of their output being used as trade beads by European merchants when exchanging goods with Native Americans, Africans, and the indigenous populations of the many colonial centers around the world. I'm going to leave a link to my Honeywell desk lamp and everything I used for this project in the description below. Thumbs up if you like this video, leave me a comment and I will get back to you. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and press that notification bell so that you know I have a new video. Grab any one of my craft books for inspiration. I think you'll like The Big Ass Book of Bling. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at TheMarkMontano and I'll see you real soon. Bye.